In problem number 27 of section 4.2, we find the, anti, or the specific antiderivative of f of x equals x squared plus x sine of x uh, that satisfies the given initial condition f of pi equals 2 pi. Now, of course, the first step is to just find the general antiderivative. So general antiderivative of f is going to be antiderivative of x squared plus x sine of x dx. Now, we can break this up and just do this piece by piece since the antiderivative is linear. And in the second part, we're actually probably going to need to use um, integration by parts. So I'll go ahead and jump ahead and just do uh, the second term right here. So we have x sine of x dx. Now, if we let u equal x and dv equal sine of x dx. This means that v now is just integrating, or excuse me, anti-differentiating. Um, v is going to be equal to negative cosine x. And du is going to just equal dx. So that means now this, by the formula for integration by parts, is going to be u times v, or negative x cosine x, um, minus uh, the antiderivative of v, it's negative cosine x d, uh, du, which is just dx. So this now simplifies to negative x cosine x. And here our negative signs cancel out. And we're left with the antiderivative, the second term is the antiderivative of cosine, which is just sine of x. So of course we need to add a constant here. Now we can uh, finish writing out the an general antiderivative for f, which will be one third x cubed plus now well will be negative x cosine x plus sine x and plus c. Now we want to find the um, specific antiderivative, or this, in other words, we want to find the value of c. Um, such that it's at, such that f satisfies or the antiderivative satisfies f of um, should be the antiderivative of capital F of pi equals two pi. So we want um, f of pi, which equals one third times pi cubed minus pi times cosine of pi, which is negative 1, and plus sine of pi, which is 0, plus c. We want this whole thing to equal 2 pi. Now, we just solve for c here. And it gives us c is equal to, uh, let's simplify things a little bit, so we have 1 third pi cubed plus pi plus c equal to 2 pi, which means that c is now equal to pi minus 1 third pi cubed. And we can rewrite the um, specific antiderivative uh, substituting the correct value for c. to get the specific antiderivative that satisfies the initial condition given in the problem.